What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we'll be going over a couple of things that you can start doing to speed up the process on completing those Arsite quest bounties to unlock attunements for those brave arsenal weapons. Completing each of these quests are designed to take you quite a bit of time to complete. That is, unless you're a super skilled crucible player. Since most of us aren't, we'll have to complete these bounties in PvE content. And that can become very frustrating because you'll constantly find yourself fighting for kills against your fellow teammates. And ammo economy can be frugal more often than not, especially when you're trying to complete Edgelord or the other quests that call for the use of special and heavy weapons. So to speed things up a bit, we've got three different activity destinations that you can start visiting to be able to easily and quickly complete each of these weapon quests. Our first destination is Neptune, where we'll be accessing one of the Lightfall campaign missions called Breakneck. We have a saved checkpoint on this mission that'll bring us right into a nice little engagement early on in the mission against the Vex and we'll be able to continuously farm this section as long as we don't defeat the big robot chicken that spawns in at the end. What's great about this spot is that there is a rally flag that will not take from your available inventory. There's around 40 enemies that you'll be able to push through in about a minute, so this will be a terrific place to come to complete the Spin to Win, the Succession, or Edgelord quests. Even though you'll have the benefits of a rally flag, I would still recommend equipping Ammo Finder, Reserve, and Scavenger Armor Mods. Since you should have multiple quests that require the use of different weapons, I would also recommend to equip a mixture of these so that you can kill three birds with one stone. Our next destination is the entrance area of the Grasp of Avarice. In this opening encounter, the Hive will never stop spawning. There's no rally banners, but with an endless supply of enemies at your disposal, you can easily rack up a ton of primary weapon kills. And if you're also running those armor mods, you should be able to generate a pretty decent amount of ammo for yourself. As you defeat enemies, they drop Ingrams. You don't want to deposit these into the crystal. But you can only hold 100 of these, so at some point you might have to kamikaze yourself. But this will still be a tremendous destination to complete any of the primary weapon quests really quickly. And 
and our final destination takes us to the Last Wish Raid within the Dreaming City. Alternatively, the Shattered Throne would be a good place to go as well, since there's so many taken enemies that will continuously spawn in those first sections. Our goal of using the Last Wish is to access the Shirochi Checkpoint so that we can farm at the opening stages of this boss encounter to get a bunch of kills in a short amount of time. Hunters running Tether will have the most success running through this area. We do have a rally banner, but this is going to take from our available inventory, so just keep that in mind. We've got about 70 to 80 enemies that we can run through in under two minutes, and we can continuously repeat the cycle over and over again. I would say the breakneck mission would ultimately be the most effective option since you get a free rally banner helping you complete those special and heavy weapon themed quests much more easily. And to that same token, those who have the Shadowkeep DLC could take advantage of the In the Deep mission exploit. So with that, we're going to bring things to a close in today's video. If you've got any additional tips or tricks to help your fellow guardians out, then be sure to let us know those down in the comments below. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit the like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new light guardian, just starting your journey or a battle hardened veteran, just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.